We have a trackside lab which travels with us and what we are doing is providing tests for quality control of the engine and fuel. We check every molecule from A to Z. These Formula One engines run at the peak of their performance. If, for example, we have a high aluminium content, then that will mean performance will drop dramatically. They're in contact with some of the most sensitive moving parts we have, and they look after everything. So if you hear from them, it's either good news or not. If we see issues, what we're trying to do is catch it in the earliest stages possible. That could avoid potential crashes and taking more penalties, which are very costly. You have to get things done and you do everything you can to win. One of the first tasks that we do when we arrive to the track is to sampling all of the drums that we have. So the FIA have a set of regulations that all fuel suppliers must meet for the spec of the fuel. So the FIA can request a sample of that. It's going to request it anyway during the weekend. Effectively, it's the same as drug and alcohol testing for athletes or doping testing, um, just to make sure that there's nothing in the field that it should be. And if the composition is not good, we can be disqualified of the race, so not allowed to be in the starting grid on Sunday. On running days, we will take a pre-session sample, post-session sample of the engine oil, the gear oil and the hydraulic oil to analyse for any abnormal results that could indicate a reliability issue. We pump out the engine oil. We come back to our lab and we carry out our physical chemical test. We have Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. We have the optical emission spectrometer. It's more of a, an elemental analysis so we can see any spikes of particular elements, which can indicate signs of high friction. 10,000 volts are sent through the oil. For the spectro, when we run the sample, it has a little point um, that basically directs all the electricity to one point. So it's important that we sharpen it using this. We fill our sample cup with oil. Light is then emitted out at different wavelengths, then picked up by the optical element. Then we get a part per million result of the different elements in the periodic table. Certain elements that we are concerned about is aluminium, titanium, lead, and various, various other um, elements which could indicate an issue. A lot of the time, if we're seeing spikes in particular elements, we will then have a discussion with the team and the engineers and mechanics to find out what components are made of that element. For example, sometimes if there's a spike in titanium, the only gear that is made of titanium is the reverse gear. So it could be an indication that something is going wrong with that gear. Your real-time analysis in session after session is key to tell you whether things are behaving themselves or whether things are deteriorating. If they find something quite big, then it could potentially lead to power unit swaps. That then makes an issue for power unit allocations for the year. We can use in total four power units, four gearbox. If we use extra ones, we got up some penalty in the position grid. So what we're trying to do is get the most races as possible out of these components. What we've learned from developing these fuels, we pass through down to the development of consumer products. We check all data from the trackside lab until we get the perfect product. Working alongside Exxon, it's good. Everything's working really well together. Very proud of the team, proud to work with the team. I keep on saying it's vital to our success. It's such a high pressure environment. I do really enjoy it because I think it gives you a buzz. <laughs>